Hey guys, welcome to my another video. This video is all gonna be as the title is stated. I know it sounds like the clickbait, but uh, I was not any, I was not having any name to name it as it was just my concept and I, I wanted to do it like that. But uh, it is similar to that of Audis, uh, how they made the LEDs. So I've named it. So don't get me wrong, please. And actually, I won't tell you that how you can open this uh, side fairings. Actually, I've already invested my time. Uh, removing the side fairing in the earlier video so you can check it on my channel actually i link it in the description as well as the left side of the video and without any further ado let me open this uh, this thing and i'll be right back so here i've opened this model up where the pillion holds uh, this is just two screws away the one here and the second one here located just unscrew them and you'll be good to go most of the people will be known that I've already installed this kind of indicators in my bike already. So here's the acrylic sheet rod which I've already installed. For installing this acrylic sheet rod, you need to cut this spikes which although goes here. Just uh, use the uh, soldering iron cause for the cutter it will be more hard. And don't use angle grinder cause it will be it will be not giving you the linear look which will be given by the uh, soldering iron. So just cut them apart and for the LEDs. Uh, actually, I was using this kind of LEDs or I've uh, just uh, making this uh, more closer to make it more linear but this was the failure cause where the spikes come the, the copper of these LEDs were getting uh, deattached so rather than uh, I've made this strip for you cause this will be more reliable and this will be more linear to look uh, the indicator will look like the there is no uh, LEDs used it will look like there is neon or something so I'll recommend you to use this kind of cause it will it will be more reliable and yeah it is uh, more of the work and actually I'm not using any of those I'm actually using this cause I don't have much time to make them uh, so just I'm installing this uh, so while installing the strip any one of this just make sure that this LEDs will this LED will be inside this inside between this okay so just insert it and it should be looking more linear to the surface okay and just glue this uh, short portion and then apply the LED here so it will be more of a linear to the surface of this module so here I'm done with the waterproofing and applying the LED and this is the uh, male connector this is the uh, stock male connector of uh, RS of the uh, stock uh, indicator and I've also did the waterproofing just get the clearer look here don't worry I've also inserted the glue inside here and this is what I've done for waterproofing just don't give any entrance to the uh, water so that it can damage your uh, circuit and that's it just uh, give me a second to install this and I'll be showing you the comparison between this LED and this LED the brightness will be of course more of this LED cause just get the comparison 3 is equals to 4 to 5 LEDs here so let me install this first so I have installed it up and this is the comparison between this uh, two LEDs this is the one which I have made and this is present at the right side here and this one is the stock which actually comes when you are going to buy it and this one is at the left side so let us have the view so this is the left side of the bike and one sec And this is the right side of the bike so this seems more brighter than the left one as there's a difference of four lights uh, per strip so this was the uh, small video about how you can make your audio type uh, indicators of the DRL actually if you're planning to get uh, this this LED uh, here just uh, go with it and You'll need a, a RGB LEDs with the switchback circuit. So if you are going to plan it and if you have already made that, then please make sure to comment below the link of your video. So thanks for watching the video guys.